This is from Heard Amid the Guns, True Stories from the Western Front by Jacqueline Carmichael. Some 59,544 of the soldiers serving with the Canadian Expeditionary Force died in the war. Almost three times that many went home physically wounded. Time would reveal that for many, the psychic scars were far more difficult to heal. Returning wounded in heart, the boys they once used to be wanted their years back. Subsequent generations might want the same thing. In these young soldiers' postcards and journals and letters, we have permanent records of the social media of yesteryear. It was just slower, analog all the way. This was how they tweeted. A postcard trundled across continents, oceans, into a cast iron mailbox. Pen, paper. A note scratched out by a fellow sprawled on sodden trench floors, ignoring his peers as he texts home. All that was missing was a keyboard. Cancelled stamps hanging on for dear life through onion layers of handling. Instead of a drop-down menu of who should see this, letters were posted, censored, carried by cart in the bellies of ships. Delivered, ripped open, pressed in scrapbooks, shown over tea, cradled in fingertips at the market. No Facebook posts or texts, journal entries. Their memes? Propaganda posters to influence and persuade. Bad news? Not a voicemail, but a telegram, crumpled in distress, abandoned damp on a hall table. Or the dreary, sorry to inform you knock on the door. If he was gone, there was a photo on the mantle instead of a selfie on Instagram. And no GoFundMe page for the widow and her children. <laughs>